Good evening. You're watching a special edition of Left, Right and Centre. I'm Nidhi Razdan. On the show tonight, this is truly India's shame. Why did 87-year-old G.D. Agarwal die after he spent years fighting to save the Ganga? The veteran activist was fasting for more than 100 days, demanding that the government get serious about cleaning up the Ganga. His death shows that despite all the big promises and big slogans, the effort to clean up the river seems to have been a hollow promise. Here, for example, is a fact check on the Clean Ganga mission that was launched by the Prime Minister in 2014. The project aims to reduce pollution and rejuvenate the Ganga by 2020. But just three months ago, the National Green Tribunal, the NGT, said that the information provided on paper was different from the ground reality and that the situation is extraordinarily bad and that it cannot accept that anything has been done. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has made big promises and many speeches on cleaning up the Ganga. This is what he had said shortly after he won the election. Well, that was what the Prime Minister said in a very emotional pitch for the Ganga just shortly after he was elected. The question is whether many of those promises have remained hollow and should Professor Agarwal have had to die in order for this message to get through. Joining us tonight, the Director for the Centre of Science and Environment, Sunita Narayan. We also have environmentalist Ravi Chopra joining us, someone who really strongly supported the campaign uh, that Professor Agarwal was leading. Uh, we have Dr. Ajay Kumar of the Congress and Anil Kumar Jha of the BJP as, with us as well. Uh, Sunita Narayan, to you first. It really is, I think, a huge, huge shame for us in this country that Professor Agarwal had to die for, uh, for this campaign. Uh, I'm sure this came as a shock to you. In a sense, he seemed to have been allowed to die while fasting. Absolutely, Nidhi. I mean, I, you have to understand that we ha I have a very old association with G.D. Agarwal. He was, in fact... Uh, the professor who taught Anil Agarwal, who was the founder director of CSC. He was also a chairperson of CSC for many years. An extraordinary man. You also have to remember that GD was in fact India's first uh, member secretary of the Central Pollution Control Board. So he was a man of science. He understood pollution. And in his last many years, he actually was totally committed to cleaning the river. And I think the total disappointment, I mean, as I see it, and um, um, I don't agree with his death. I don't agree with the fact with what he did. Uh, many, I mean, I have said that to him. That's not a strategy. But on the other hand, I think his complete abject disappointment at not seeing things move on the ground and the fact that there was huge expectation that he had that the government which came to power would bring in the ecological flow notification. When the UPA2 was there in the last years, they had actually talked about ecological flow. I was on the committee. We gave recommendations. It did not happen. And I know GD had huge faith that this government would bring in both the notification and ensure that there is flow in the river because you have to remember today the 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 the, the murder or the hydro side of of Ganga is or all rivers is that we are taking water from our rivers and we are giving back sewage. So an essential element is to have ecological flow across the length of the river. The other is the new approach for for pollution management. And the third, of course, is to stop sand mining on the river. I think GD had huge expectations that it would happen. I think falsely so, in my view, because I don't think any government is uh, so, uh, so different that they're going to turn around and do things the way we like it. But then he was, he was GD. He Absolutely. believed in it and he died for it. 
Ravi Chopra. I don't like it. No, and no, I you didn't. You said as you said you didn't it, agree with this did. form of protest either. Uh, Ravi Chopra, you can see actually the anguish mm -hmm. in Professor Agarwal's letters to the Prime Minister. The last one was written uh, in June this year, where he's actually mentioned uh, to Mr. Modi that he had written to him earlier as well, had not got any response, uh, and he and he says that the only gains uh, on the Ganga to be seen for the corporate sector and several business houses. You don't seem to be giving anything to Ganga Ji. That is the impression created by all. of your projects on the river you can see a lot of anguish there uh, that he has in in his letter uh, in his communication to the pm yes he was deeply disappointed you have to remember that gd agarwal came from a very devout hindu family it was a family where there are three generations of rss supporters gd himself was close to many of the senior leadership of the bjp having worked with murli manohar joshi on the terry dam committee uh, at the start of this century and he had expectations that his voice would be heard by this government he was especially emboldened after the कैंडिडेट नरेंद्र मोदी अनाउंस मुझे माँ गंगा ने बुलाया है सो यू कैन इमेजिन दैट द एक्सपेक्टेशन दिस मैन वुड हैव हैड ऑफ पर्सन हु मेड दिस प्रॉमिस सो आई वॉन्ट टू देन आस्क द बीजेपी हियर टूडे दैट हैज वुड यू एडमिट दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज फेल्ड टू कीप इट प्रोमिस बिल्कुल नहीं देखिए निधि जी मैं मैं जुड़ी अग्रवाल साहब चले गए हैं और Uh, हमें बहुत ज़्यादा दुख है कि वो एक अच्छे काम वो लगातार करते रहे थे पिछले 40 सालों से वो प्रोफेसर भी थे वो संत भी थे उनकी बहुत रिगार्ड है हमारी पार्टी में और देश के लोगों के अंदर भी है लेकिन जहाँ तक सुनीता जी और रवि चोपड़ा साहब जो बोल रहे हैं देखिए एक दुख दुख का समय है लेकिन गवर्नमेंट बिल्कुल फेलियर नहीं है गवर्नमेंट एक मौलिक तरीके से गंगा की सफाई के लिए कर लगातार काम कर रही है अब सुनीता नारायण जी इतना बड़ा नाम है इन्वायरमेंटिस्ट है लेकिन मैं बड़े रिस्पेक्ट से आपको कहना चाहूँगा कि देखिए नितिन गडकरी जैसे मिनिस्टर इसमें काम कर रहे हैं और वो एक, एक ऐसे मिनिस्टर हैं जो रिजल्ट लाकर के देते हैं चाहे वो हाईवे के ऊपर काम हो रहा हो या गंगा के ऊपर देखिए गंगा सिर्फ गंगा नदी नहीं है गंगा हमारी संस्कृति से जुड़ा हुआ एक विषय भी है और उस पर पिछले चार वर्षों तो सत्तर साल का कूड़ा उठाने की जिम्मेदारी है उसको साफ करने की जिम्मेदारी है हम लोग कर रहे हैं हमने टोटली जो उसके आजू बाजू उद्योग थे उसको चिन्हित किया कुछ उद्योगों को बंद किया एक से नवासी प्रोजेक्ट थे इकतालीस प्रोजेक्ट पूरे हो गए इसमें एक सागरमाला प्रोजेक्ट अगर आपने इतना काम किया है तो वो प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल किस किस चीज के लिए व्हाट वाज ही फास्टिंग फॉर देखिए उन्होंने प्रधानमंत्री को चिट्ठियां लिखी उन्होंने कहा कि प्रधानमंत्री ने उनकी चिट्ठियों का जवाब नहीं दिया <coughs> सीएजी की रिपोर्ट है पिछले साल की कि 2500 करोड़ ऑफ द फंड्स वर लाइंग अनयूटिलाइज्ड एनजीटी uh, तीन महीने पहले एनजीटी ने कहा नो इफेक्टिव स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन टू क्लीन द गंगा कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज एंड लैक ऑफ हाइजीन इज एट अ मैसिव लेवल आपने तीन प्रश्न किए कि जुड़ी अग्रवाल साहब ने प्रधानमंत्री कार्यालय में पत्र दिया उनका जवाब नहीं है पहले बात मैं कहूँ जो क्लीनिंग डायरेक्टर थे वो लगातार टच में थे प्रोफेसर जी डी अग्रवाल साहब के पास वो जो कहते थे वो गवर्नमेंट के साथ ब्रिज के रूप में काम कर रहे थे इसमें पोखरियाल साहब वहाँ के एमपी हैं वो लगातार उनके साथ टच में थे हमारे बहुत सीनियर लोग उनके साथ टच में थे ऐसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं है कि जी डी अग्रवाल साहब के मसलों को नहीं देखा जा रहा था उनके मैक्सिमम मांगों को लगातार माना जा रहा था लेकिन वो बुजुर्ग थे सतासी वर्ष के हो गए थे और उनके वाइटल अंग जब तक हमको लग रहा था हमको क्या मेडिकली रिपोर्ट के अनुसार जब तक वाइटल अंग उनके ठीक ठाक थे लेकिन अचानक बहुत बुजुर्ग थे कमजोरी की वजह से उनका हार्ट अटैक हुआ इस बात का हमको दुख है कौन कह रहा है हमको कोई भी सरकार क्यों चाहे कि इतना बड़ा व्यक्ति उनके कारण से चला जाए ऐसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं ग्यारह दिन तक बिल्कुल फास्ट रखा है जी तो कोई हाँ, तो कारण होगा ना देखिए वो एक मिशन के लेकर के हम उनकी रिगार्ड कर रहे हैं उनका सम्मान कर रहे हैं मिशन को लेकर के अपना जीवन का आखिरी चालीस वर्ष उन्होंने लगाया लेकिन एनजीटी की बात कर लेते हैं ना एनजीटी एनजीटी जो रिपोर्ट दिया है एक आयोग है एनजीटी अक्सर देश के कई नदी नालो इन्वायरमेंट के ऊपर रिपोर्ट देती रही है एनजीटी जो रिपोर्ट दिया हमने तो नहीं कहा हम डिलाई कर रहे हैं लेकिन एनजीटी की रिपोर्ट और ज्यादा बेहतर हो जाए वो ज्यादा और मॉनिटरिंग अच्छी कर पाए तो उसको लेकर के हमारी जो मंत्रालय में नितिन गडकरी जी है इतना मेरिकल लीडर है वो व्यक्ति जिसने इतनी मेहनत की है इसके ऊपर आप देखेंगे आने वाले वक्त में रिजल्ट आएगा एनजीटी ने कहा है नो इफेक्टिव स्टेप्स आई वुड लाइक टू इंटरवीन एट दिस गो हेड मिस्टर चोपड़ा योर द एक्सपर्ट गो हेड चोपड़ा साहब निधि आई वुड लाइक टू इंटरवीन निधि गो हेड मिस्टर चोपड़ा निधि देखिए दिस इज नॉट ट्रू this is not true that various government 
uh, officers and ministers and MPs were in touch with, regularly in touch with Dr. G. D. Agarwal. Nishank ji ka naam liya gaya hai abhi, lekin Nishank ji pehli baar toh 110 din pe aaye hai unko milne ke liye. On the 9th of October, the day that he said he was going to give up drinking water, he arrived two hours before the time GD had set. So it's not fair to say that. Mr. Gadkari, the first time Uma Bharti ji asked GD, forced GD to speak to Mr. Gadkari, Mr. Gadkari heard GD for a minute or so and hung up. He had no respect for GD to even listen to what he was saying. The officers started, the, the interaction really started in September, barely a month before his, after he announced that he was going to stop drinking water from 9th October. So it's not fair to say that. Number two, I would say that if you look at the four demands that GD had placed before the Prime Minister back in February, which he reiterated in June, the first demand was for bringing forth a bill for the conservation and protection of River Ganga in Parliament based on a model bill that GD himself had drafted with the help of Justice Girdhar Malviya, MC Mehta, a lawyer, Paritosh Tyagi, a former chairman of the CPCB. His second demand was that all the hydro power projects that are under construction or proposed in the head streams of River Ganga should be cancelled. The third was about sand bed mining should be stopped and the fourth was about the establishment of an autonomous body which would <coughs> be in charge of River Ganga. Now none of these four have to do anything with cleaning of Ganga and very little to do with e-flows. So the government was engaging GD or trying to engage GD in the last one month on its agenda, not, not on GD's on, agenda. On, okay, that's a very important distinction you've made there. Ajoy Kumar of the Congress wants to come in on this. Ajoy. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, uh, Nidhi, my, my colleague from the Bhatia Janta Party, I keep requesting them that they continue to say half-truths, untruths on the TV channels. You know, 60 years, 4 years ago, the kuda was 70 years ago, they have done it with 70 years couple of facts which I want to tell them, like uh, my, uh, Mr. Chopra correctly said, that they keep making claims on the TV, you know, and they, and, and they, they seem to lack total lack of uh, any kind of shame that it, whether it will get verified or not. Mr. Pokhrial met after 110 days, etc. But let me put some facts to it. Did we, could we do a better job when we were in government? Maybe yes. But Mr. G.D. Agarwal's letter said a couple of things uh, on Mr. Manmohan Singh. One is, that the Lori Nagpal, uh, Nagpala hydro, uh, hydro project was cancelled. Mr. Agarwal, uh, G.D. Agarwal praised Mr. Manmohan Singh for that. He also praised Mr. Manmohan Singh for creating an eco-sensitive zone between Gangotri and Uttarkashi. Now those were work which was done on the ground. Could we have done better? Yes, we could have done better. But we wouldn't lie and come on TV and say, Ma Ganga ne hame bulaya, isle me saaf kar dunga, and then say, Gadkari ji is going to do a great job. Sorry for four years of inefficiency. Mr. Gadkari himself said that, Look at the, all their targets are 2022, 20, no accountability on the ground. They had a budget of 20,000 crores, they spent 4,000 crores, and they keep making such ridiculous claims. The coliform content of the Ganga uh, has gone up. The sewage, uh, the, in, uh, the sewage, uh, uh, setting up of the sewage plants have not happened. And remember, Mr. G.D. Agarwal hit it on the nail. He also said in his letter that the government, Mr. Modi's government is working for the, only for the, for the uh, uh, corporate sector.